Hello YouTube, Super Brain AK here, and well, you are on the iPhone right now, iPhone SE, because too many people complain that this guy is a potato. So, you are rubber banded <laughs> to the tripod, <laughs> and let's do a mailbag. So I've already taken them out of their... Crinkly paper. And the first item is this guy. Uh, Finder. That was easy. It's a file. So that way I can file down some things. Cut myself or break my knife into my eye. That should work. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wait, is this part of the actual metal file when they put it on the plastic handle? That kind of sucks. Oh, and it's all greasy. Okay, well. It's got pretty fine, fine grains there. <coughs> Whoops, sorry. It will focus right there. You see there's all the grease. But yeah, it's a file for metal bits and Maybe uh, bits of tabs on the 18650s. And then in box number two is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. What are they? What do you think? Aha! One of those. Hmm. Smaller than I thought, which is good. Don't need them to be too big. Focus. It's a one of the five watts um, constant current loads. So it's got the transistor here. There's the main terminals, and there's your uh, voltage terminals. DC in. And it's got teeny tiny little standoffs. So yeah, I have six of these for my six bay charger and discharger. So we'll move those out of the way for a minute. Cause I do already have, sorry. Quite a few of these. I don't know if you remember the post bag on this. I've got these three bay cell holders with the pins coming down and they've got the standard metal tab. They're not the spring ones. Not these disgusting things. These are a complete mistake and waste. But I'm sure I'll use them for something sometime. So I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, nope, uh, 15, yeah. So I have 15 bays, and so what I'm going to do is have a 
Yes, you're supposed to like zip time together. So have these bays be for directly to these dischargers. And then have these bays directly for chargers. Ooh, TP4056, right? Dead flat wrong. Those things are disgusting. They're maybe, what, 57% efficient? Nope. I bought six of these little bad boys. Which are literally not that much more. These. I'm definitely going to need some light on this. I don't know if you can read that at all. These are LM2596 HV. And they've got one potentiometer for voltage, right? Maybe. And the other one for current, which uses, I think, an op amp there. TE... Nope, other way around. M7... Nope, MZ731. Oh, it's a LM358. There's a 358 up there. Whether or not you can see that. But yeah, well, it's got a red green LED there. And so all I do is set the voltage to 4.2, and I can precisely calibrate it and set the current to 1 amp or 500 milliamps, whichever I want. And then I can get a 60 volt input, which would be my PoE switch, which is that guy up there, which is currently off because, well, I just upgraded my motherboard and that has a fancy feature. It's on the, I think I did, oh yeah, that was a surprise at the end of the last mailbag. That's what that was. I forgot. So yeah, I got six of these. Each one's going to be wired to each port. And then it is going to be a little bit tough to check the termination current. But I think I might do some sort of op amp circuit that has like six op amps or something. Well, three dual op amp comparators or whatever and then tap that into whatever the current sense line that has a high enough voltage after that amplifier to see when the voltage drops to um, to whatever a, a low good termination current and then it could say hey battery's done or I just leave them on for long enough and so, last but not least, uh, well, these guys, these guys came from, let's see, these came from AliExpress, uh, these came from whoever uh, Alice110-1983 is, because Julian did the video and and Alice has real HV models. So, yeah. And then, since you might be aware that this guy has bit the dust, I was troubleshooting it on a video trying to sell, tell the seller that, well, the current, the overcurrent protection LED doesn't work. And, you know, 
this heat sinks there, this coil is sitting down here. And as I'm reading that voltage right there, I touch the heat sink. And the heat sink was connected directly to that coil and it was powered at 24 volts. So I think I fried this little chip here, which is a um, an amplifier. And so the whole thing doesn't work at all. That chip just heats up. So, since I'm buying things from Alice, I said, why not? I see they've upgraded the capacitors a little bit. So, ooh. Ew. That's not good. Wait a minute. These say Nichicon. Oh, they're taller. You can see that there. There. Right they're just a little bit taller. Whoop. If I hold them at the right height. So these are 3x680 and these are 3x470. So it does look like this thing has gotten squashed. Yeah, you can see this pot right here is all messed up. And this thing is all the way over into the heat sink. But yeah. Oh my goodness. You see these connectors? Here. Here. Oh well. I'll probably give it a retin or something. It's got wires going all over the place for the fan. Oh, that's weird. And 20 amp uh, fuses in the middle. So, oh hell. Hmm. Wow. You need better packaging. This plus this does not protect this from this. Come on, people. Yeah, well. So I guess I'm going to replace that cap with something that I have. I'm sure I've got something way better than these knockoff Nichicons. And this cap isn't even held on. Whoa, what is that? That was weird looking. Okay, well. And, last but not least, since I was buying from China, figured I'd give a play with one of these guys, which has its pins sticking straight through the anti-static. Oh, frick. What the hell? That capacitor is completely squished. Well. And so is that one. So, yeah, well. That sucks. We'll see if they work. Because if they're dead out of the package with those capacitors like that, well stuff. So, <laughs> I don't know. Buy one of these guys in its own order. Maybe it'll arrive to you better. 
the other one that I bought, this one, I, it was in a little box, which arrived perfectly fine. Anyway, catch you all later. This guy, uh, I just wanted to play with the LTC 3780. Well, I never actually said what it is, but you know what it is. This is the Boost Buck all-in-one chip. Yeah, that thing is all the way over, clear over off the board. And it, it isn't a boost buck, not like this is the boost circuit and that's the buck circuit. It uses this coil and four MOSFETs in a boost, in a boost configuration or a buck configuration. And it picks which ones to turn on at which time to regulate the power. So, uh, I might be having some fun someday, or pretty soon. What do you think of that? Parallel these guys up using the one chip. I'll probably need a MOSFET driver though. But yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.